field goal, and that does give them the lead, but this one is still a long ways from over. And you love to be able to look up at the scoreboard and see that you're out in front, but then you take one look across the field and see that offense is raring to come back out, and you think, I don't know, the field goals are going to be enough to get us home. Tucker now following the main field goal, set to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. <laughs> And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. six on the play and that'll make it second down that throw has to be a quarterback's dream doesn't it big tight end curling in the middle of the field so it's great sight lines for him and when they show their numbers back to the quarterback when they sit down right there that should be pitch and catch Time starting to run out here in the fourth. This defense just trying to keep the offense off the board and preserve this potential victory. Time running out here on the play clock. Card out a throw, and this is incomplete. He was looking for his tight end that time, Michael Rivera, and it'll be third down. It appears that the pressure is affecting him today. Normally, he knows exactly when to get rid of the football, but today, because he's been hit a few times, he's getting rid of it a little bit too quickly. The offense certainly looking to score some points, but they also need ball security here late as we get down to the final moments of this one. An extra defensive back in the game now here for third and four. Here's Carr. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, any caused incompletion is good for a defense. But when you add to it that you get a little hit on the quarterback, knock him to the ground, make him think a little bit, hopefully knock him off his game, especially in a game of this magnitude, this tight in the fourth quarter, got to feel pretty good as a defense. And he uncorks a beauty, best of the day. And this works out well as it'll kick out of bounds at the 11-yard line. Getting late here in the fourth, and if this team has any chance to win this football game, their defense obviously needs a stop here. They start on the ground with four set. And he takes us across the 15 to the 17. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. So they're leading, they have possession of the football, and certainly this is where they just want to milk the clock. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. Stay on the ground, four set again. And he stopped immediately there. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a third and three. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. And three full yards here for the offense to get on third down. Hey, 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 you got three, you got three. three down. They come out here in the eye. They'll try and get it with Forsett, and he'll lose. Now whistles, and the Raiders are going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages.
So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Here's Sam Cook now. And you wonder, could they possibly think about taking a safety here? Carry on the return. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. and brings up second down. Able to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. He'll look to throw. And hauled in here by Rivera. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 17 yards on the pickup there, and the drive will continue. And the offense moving quickly to the line. And with just over 40 seconds now remaining, he gets up and spikes it. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. to throw and his throw is incomplete he was trying to get it to Seth Roberts and it'll be third and ten now Second down incompletion, now brings up third down. They send Rivera the tight end in motion here. They'll look to throw. They'll try and set up the screen, it's complete. And the play goes for 19 yards, gives them a new set of downs. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Fresh set of downs here. All right, here we go. He's back to throw. Over the middle, Amari Cooper, it's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. And the next snap coming inside the red zone here. Back 
Back to throw. Carr. Penalty. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Illegal block in the back. Offense. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. All right, here we go. Wide and eight. Wide. To throw his car. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. So with next to nothing left on the clock, they get Charles what should be the game-winning touchdown catch. That felt so much like practice and preparation coming together. So many times your last practice of the week, you score the game-winning touchdown. Everyone leaves the field feeling good about themselves. They got it done for real in this situation. Janikowski now for the point after. And that will make this a four-point game. Now Janikowski following the score. He'll boot this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it now. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. throw deep downfield and he can't hang on to it that would have sealed it instead second down one of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading trying to figure out what they're doing and on that one they had to fly just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it what people call a dagger route trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out in this case though they're not able to get it done yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. He's going to let it fly. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Travis Carey. And that will write a finish to this ball game. And, Charles, when you pull out a close game, the good thing about that is maybe next time you're in a nail-biter in the fourth quarter, you have a little more confidence. Yeah, you're talking about your memory muscles, right? When you win those close ones, you have that confident feeling that you can continue to do so every time you're in that position. Now, that said, you would rather win by 60 points, or do you like the close ones, too? Well, I think everyone would rather win by 60. It's comfortable. Everyone gets to play. But when you win those nail-biters, dinner tastes just a little bit better that night. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. From Baltimore, so long, everybody.